あなたも混ざりますの<laughs> This scene from the recent episode of Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation was definitely spicy to say the least, and I'm sure we all had the same reaction as Roxy did after witnessing all that. That said, like most characters in Mushoku Tensei, several of the side characters we meet in the series have just as much depth as many of the main characters that other shows would have. And Alina Lise Dragon Road is a good example of that. Since her brief introduction in the first season of Mushoku Tensei, she was quite a mysterious character, and with the recent scene of her that lightly traumatized Roxy, I'm sure many fans were interested to find out the reason behind her erotic nature. But despite what many might think of Alina Lise as a character, once we get to know more about her, I'm sure we'll be able to learn that, like the other characters of the show, she has her very own traumatic backstory. That's why in today's video, I wanted to shed some light on her character and take a deep dive into her past as well as some of the positive sides to her. Before we begin, a minor spoiler warning for her character and if you enjoyed the explanation, don't forget to give it a like and subscribing to the channel for more anime content. To start, Elena Lise Dragon Road is a female elf that used to be in an adventurer party along with Paul Greyrat and four other members which included Zenith Greyrat, Ghislaine de Dodia, Thorhan and Geese. The party was called the Fangs of the Black Wolf and it was one of the most famous s rank adventurer parties in the central continent. However, the party eventually disbanded when Paul and Zenith decided to settle down and start a family. Now, as we all know, Elena Lise has a very extreme sexual drive more so than most characters in the world of Mushoku Tensei, but her erotic nature actually comes from the effects of a curse that she is under. Despite how she looks, she is actually more than 200 years old or maybe even more than that, as she was found sealed in a magic crystal by the hero Perugius one day inside the labyrinth. She would be freed from the magic crystal but she had no recollection of who she was, so she was taken to an elven town where she eventually recovered and gotten married. But due to her imprisonment inside of the magic crystal, she became cursed with an unnatural libido. But this curse just didn't cause her to become sexually active as it will also cause death if she is not pleased sexually. This is because she needs the semen from man she has intercourse with to transform the magical energy inside her body into magic crystals so she won't implode with excessive magical energy. But a weird bright side of the curse is that she can at least sell the magic crystals for money. Because of her constant sexual escapades, she would later be kicked out of the village and she would eventually become an adventurer. Now, that's not all to a curse because in a side story known as the Old Dragon's Tale, Alina Lise got a bit more backstory on how she was sealed inside of the magic crystal 200 years ago. Apparently, during this period, she was referred to as Roster Linda and it explains how she was always cursed with an enormous amount of magical energy which would often end up growing so large that it would hurt the people around her. However, the Technic God side of Laplace managed to save and help her by creating a magic spell to nullify her excessive magical energy. After Laplace saved her, she decided to work as his assistant, which in the world of Mushoku Tensei is something very noteworthy. She would always help Laplace with chores and whenever she has any free time, she would listen to the stories from his past. And she knew that he had a grudge against the human god, so he wanted to help him to defeat the human god. But when he told her how she could help, she became saddened because the only way for her to help him would be to have a curse return, and she would be turned into a sort of magical battery that can pass her magical energy onto others. Knowing how important this was to Laplace, she agreed to help him. Of course, in order for it to work, Laplace needed to put her inside of a magic crystal where he can modify her body into an ideal state, while at the same time modifying her memories so she wouldn't lose it during the centuries that was needed to complete the process. This was to prepare Ostad who was considered to be the greatest and most powerful among the dragon tribe for his eventual fight against the human god because one of the weaknesses of Ostad was that he had a very slow recovery rate for magic so he couldn't freely use magic and several of his techniques. This is why Rosalinda had such an important role to play in the future. However, when she was put inside of the magic crystal, Laplace left to fight the human god but he lost the war and never returned. She was left inside that crystal waiting for Laplace to return for who knows how many centuries and because he wasn't there to make adjustments to her memories, she lost all her memories and that's also why she doesn't remember her own name and goes by the name Elena Lise. So that's basically the story behind her curse and it really gives an interesting perspective on her character. And despite her sexual escapades, she is actually a very kind-hearted and carefree person. When Paul's family was separated because of the teleport event, she accepted the request to help him find his family without him knowing. She teamed up with Roxy and Thorhan and they began their journey throughout the magic continent in search of Paul's family. 
they eventually would be able to discover the location of Zenith Grey Rat and this was also the time when she managed to track down Rudius so she could deliver the news to him. After meeting Rudius, she decided to follow him when he enrolled into the Ronoa Magic Academy. At the Magic Academy, she still conducted her sexual acts as usual but I have to say, despite her lustful nature, it does seem like she has a part of her that is still very naive and idealistic. In fact, when she meets Clive Grimoire, a student that was also attending the academy, she fell in love with him after he declared that he would try his hardest to remove her curse even after learning about her sexual past. Regardless of the promiscuous life she had and with her curse, she would always try her hardest to fight against it and try to stay as faithful to Clive as possible. This is definitely a stark contrast to how she lived her life before she met him and goes to show that she is willing to make sacrifices for the people she cares about. Of course, Clive himself also understands the situation Elena Lise is in so he never judges her despite her past and he even managed to develop an artifact that was able to stop her curse for up to a year. That said, I also want to take the time to give you an idea of how strong Elena Lise is. Like I mentioned earlier, she is still an s -rank adventurer so she definitely isn't someone people can mess with. First of all, being an s -rank adventurer meant that she's extremely strong and capable, having a higher endurance as compared to the average adventurers. Due to this, her fighting style usually involves her taking the brunt of the damage from her enemies, while her teammates help to finish them off and this was actually her main role when she was with the fangs of the Black Wolf. Although she is unable to kill monsters by herself, she manages to compensate her lack of offensive capabilities with her use of magic items, especially her s and the gladius she picked up in Lepan. But besides that, she is also extremely nimble and agile, capable of dodging most attacks from low-level foes easily. She was even complemented by Astolf, the demon lord on the demon continent when she managed to dodge the demon lord's attack. Also, here's an interesting fact about Elena Lise. She is actually the grandmother of Sylphie, but she didn't tell her because she was afraid that her past might affect the way people view her. So yeah, that's basically all the information on Elena Lise Dragon Road. But anyways, on top of all the things she endured thanks to her curse, becoming a so-called sexual predator just to survive and being kicked out and shunned by the village and family which she created after being freed from the magic crystal. She is definitely a character with quite the tragic backstory and it's really a shame she had to go through all of that just to live on. But luckily, she eventually met Clive who she ends up marrying later and at least she never runs into any financial problems thanks to the magic crystal she produces. Well, I hope I managed to at least give you an idea of her character overall and hopefully you guys will be able to understand why her character behaves the way she does and not view her as something bad or disgusting. So what do you think of Elena Lise Dragon Road and the explanation for what we saw in the recent episode of the anime? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like. Also remember to subscribe to the channel and hitting that notification bell for more anime content in the future. Thanks for watching and as always, stay safe everyone.